Hey guys, in this video we will discuss the relationship between energy spectral density and autocorrelation. So energy spectral density is denoted by spectral density is denoted by psi of omega and autocorrelation function is denoted by r of tau and these form a Fourier transformable pair that is represented by Fourier transform of r of tau is equal to psi of omega. Let us prove this. So we know that autocorrelation of a function let's say x of t is given by r of tau that is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity x of t x star t minus tau into dt and now we will see the uh, inverse Fourier transform of uh, x of t minus tau so it would be inverse Fourier transform of x of t minus tau is equals to uh, 1 by 2 pi integration minus infinity to infinity x of omega into e to the power of j omega t minus tau d omega. So let us substitute this thing ar and we will get r of tau is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity x of t and we will write this minus infinity to infinity x of omega e to the power of j omega t minus tau d omega and a star here and now we will replace uh, sorry interchange the order of the integration so inter changing order of integration let's see what we'll get after interchanging we will get r of tau is equals to 1 by 2 pi from minus infinity to infinity x star omega and then in brackets integration minus infinity to infinity x of tau e to the power of minus j omega t to dt and in last e to the power of j omega tau into d omega. So now we will replace this as x of omega this thing as x of omega will get 1 by 2 pi minus infinity to infinity x star omega into x of omega to the power of j omega tau into d omega so we know that this term can be written as mod of x omega whole square so we will write it as 1 by 2 pi integration minus infinity to infinity mod of x omega whole square e to the power of j omega tau into d omega. So you can observe that this can be replaced by psi of omega. So 1 by 2 pi minus infinity to infinity psi of omega e to the power of j omega tau into d omega. And this can be written as inverse Fourier transform of psi of omega. This is equals to inverse Fourier transform of psi of omega. So finally we can write it as r of tau is equals to Fourier inverse of psi of omega. So when we transfer this Fourier inverse to left side, it will become Fourier transform of r of tau is equal to psi of omega. And hence this is the relationship between the autocorrelation and ESD and hence we have proved the relationship thanks for watching if you like this video then don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to my channel thank you